it's Rainbow Rocks Beauty and today I have for you a tutorial on print, uh, Princess Leia hair and makeup and it's super super easy like it's not super involved at all it's pretty neutral makeup I tried to keep it really true to my inspo pick let me show you okay so this is my inspo pick for the makeup if you can see she's got the neutral eyes the kind of orangey pinky reddy lips and then for the hair I just did that like sort of iconic two big blobs on the side of the head type thing but I just did it super easy with sock buns so it's going to be a no-brainer for your Princess Leia costume for Halloween and don't forget to subscribe for my giveaway and I don't really have anything else to say so let's get started bye First, I'm going to prime my eyes, and I've been in the habit of using the NYX concealer, um, just the one in the little pot, the cream one, and just blending that on my eyes with a brush. And then I set it with cream from the Rock Mega Pro palette, um, as I would usually do using the Sigma E60. And then I'm going to go in with brown from the palette um, on this little e.l.f. blending brush. Um, it's just a super mid-tone brown. And I'm going to start buffing that into my crease, focusing most of the color on the outer corner of my crease, but we're just going to make this very diffused and light just for a little bit of definition in that crease, and we're just going to blend and blend and blend until it's good. I use windshield wiper and circular motions for this. You can do whatever works for blending for you, and I bring it up just a tad, but not too much. And then we're going to go in with Fawn from the palette, which is just a lighter brownish shade. And I'm just going to diffuse that even more and bring that inward so that there's a little bit of color on the like inner part of my crease, but not too much. And then we're just going to take a fluffy brush and blend that even more so it's diffused. And as you can see, my fluffy brush is kind of dirty and it's like depositing something else on there. But that's cool because we're just going to blend that out with more brown and more of that Fawn color. The importance of cleaning your brushes, guys. And then we're going to go in with Opal, which is a beautiful white gold from the palette. And we're just going to pack that onto the lid and then onto our crease. And yeah, just for a little bit of like reflective light on the crease. We're just keeping this super neutral. And then I'm going to go in with Espresso from the palette. And I'm just going to start lining my lash line with that. On this flat definer brush from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to keep this super close to the lash line. You can do the line a little bit larger if you have larger lids, but I have super small lids, as I've said before. And we're just going to line with that. Feel free to sort of blend it upwards because we're going to be smoking this out anyways. And then I'm going to go in with the Sigma E30, which is just a pencil brush. And I'm just going to start buffing at that to smoke it upwards. And the key with this is to sort of use the tip of the brush because it kind of goes to a tiny point and just focus that onto the line and blend with that so that it doesn't go too high. And then put a little bit of brown on the brush and blend a little bit more with that <laughs> and smoke it out just a little bit with a sort of lighter brown until you've just got this nice smoky line. And then I'm just going in with mascara. This is my Avon Super Extend Mascara. And I'm putting on some natural lashes. If you have nice, long, natural lashes, then feel free to not put on falsies. But um, Leia has, you know, gorgeous lashes, and I don't. Mine are pretty much non-existent. So I'm putting on just some super natural ones. They're the Eyler 155s. And then I'm just doing my under eye concealer, which you've seen in my last video. And then I'm going to line my bottom lash line the same way I did with my top lash line. And I am going to blend it out a little bit as I'm doing it and smoke it a little bit. Just as I did before. And I'm going to bring it all the way across but make sure most of the dark espresso brown is focused on the outer part of my bottom lash line.
And then I'm going to go in with brown on the flat side of that brush, and I'm just going to line my waterline with that. Feel free to use a brown eyeliner. I just didn't want it to be too dark. That was too risky for me. And then I'm going to take the same E30 with a little bit of brown and smoke out that entire lash line. And then bottom mascara, I'm using the same one. As you can see, I had a lot of troubles. Today was just not my day for some things. <laughs> Just make sure they're not too spidery. Try to keep them natural looking. And then I'm going to go in with stone and I'm going to use this to fill in my brows. It's just a nice muted grayish brown. And I'm just going to do super light feathery strokes because Leia's brows are rather natural looking. And that's not what I usually do, but I'm just going to feather in this color and create my arch and create my tail as usual. Trying to keep it super natural looking. I'm going to stay true to my natural shape, but um, still keep it, you know, natural looking, which is not what I would usually do. And I'm just going to literally, literally just fill in that whole thing with the same feathery strokes and just make sure it's nice and blended and not too obvious. Sorry about how bushy they are, by the way. I'm growing them out. Ugh. It's scary. And then once I get to the inner corner, I'm just going to use a light amount of product and just a light, light strokes. And then I'm going to put a little bit of concealer under there just to cover up my hairs. Um, and it's also going to act as a really subtle brow bone highlight. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend that in with my fingers into my skin on the side, into the shadow underneath, and into the skin inside of my brow. And then I'm just going to do blush as my contour because she has almost no contour. Um, all you can see is really a little bit of blush in the inspo pick. And so I'm just going to use um, Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And I'm going to put that underneath my cheekbone really, really softly. And sort of bring it up to where I would put blush. And bring it in to where I would put blush on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm just going to blend that up into my temples a little bit. And then up into my forehead a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Just very, very, very subtle little contour slash blush type deal. And I'm just using this e.l.f. stippling brush. It's what I've been liking to use for blush lately. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit on the sides of my nose just to even everything up. And then I'm just going to do my highlight as I usually would. I'm going to make a video on this, so I'm just going to breeze right through. And then I'm going to line my lips using MAC Lip Liner in red. Yeah, it has two Ds. Um, it's kind of a nice pinkish red, and I'm just going to line my lips um, true to their natural shape. I'm not going to overline them too much because her lips are pretty small. Um, and I'm just going to line them, and then I'm going to bring it in a little bit, like just a tiny bit, so that we have this pinkish red that mixes with the lipsticks that we're going to go in with. But I'm just doing this so the lipstick do doesn't bleed because, you know, Leia's doesn't bleed. And then I'm going with the NYX Extra Crowned Lipstick in NYX. It's an orange lipstick. It's going to add a little bit of frost, a little bit of sheen, and it's going to mix with that to make a nice orangish red like what she has. And then I'm just going to put a super light wash of it <sighs> and then sort of blend it in. And then the same lipstick in Hot Melon just to red it up a little bit more. And then I'm going to mix everything together by patting my lips together and then you're done. Okay, now for the hair, I'm going to make sure my hair is nice and brushed. And then I'm going to part it down the center. By the way, I'm not like a hairstylist or anything. I'm just, I just thought it would be fun to include this super easy sort of hairdo. And I'm just going to part it down the center and try as best as I can to part it like down the back in the center as well. And then just move both sides to either side, like I said. And then I'm just going to make pigtails right in the center of the side of my head. And make sure the pigtails are super tight because that's the only way sock buns will stay. Is that the ponytail that is the base of the sock bun is really, really tight. So just make sure it's nice and tight. And then I'm going to take my sock bun. And I'm just going to do this by putting it like at the end of the ponytail. And then I tuck in the ends into the sock bun. Um... It's kind of like convoluted, like you have to do a sock bun to know what I'm trying to say, but I'm just going to tuck the ends into the sock bun and then roll it up and just make sure the ends are staying in there as I roll it. And you might have to use bobby pins, you might have to tuck in some hairs after, 
But in the end, the sock bun should hold everything. And then you're done, guys. Have a good one. Bye.